H.264 and H.265 are both video codecs, which is a technology that encodes your raw footage so the file isn't massive and then decodes it for playback. But why should you choose H.265 over H.264 or vice versa when streaming or recording? The difference boils down to this. H.265 is way more efficient than H.264, resulting in video files that are pretty much the same quality but about half the size. Just look at this chart for example. 4K video is a whopping 32 megabits per second to stream or record with H.264 versus just 15 with H.265. The benefits of this are obvious. H.265 files are less costly in terms of storage space and bandwidth, but there's a catch because there's always a catch. Computationally, H.265 is a lot more taxing than H.264. That means you need advanced hardware not only to create H.265 video files, but to watch them as well. One day, most of us will have H.265 capable systems and every CDN will support H.265 streaming. At that point, there'd be no reason not to use H.265. For the time being, though, choose your codec based on your application application, your target resolution, and what your preferred CDN supports. For now, here are some CDNs which can ingest H.265 from a third-party encoder. But note that it is not compatible with RTMP streaming, so if you're using any of these CDNs listed, choose something other than RTMP. And if you're looking for an H.265 capable streaming and recording device, check out our Pearl Nano hardware encoder. H.265 is coming to the system as an optional feature add-on very soon. You can check that out at epifan.com nano. It's also worth mentioning that even if you can't edit, export, or stream an H.265 with your CDN or your system, if you're not live streaming, but instead are going to simply record, edit, and then upload a video, then it still might be worth recording in H.265 if that's what your camera is able to record in because it takes up a lot less storage, so you can record a lot more. So that's something to consider if you're short on storage on your recording device because you can always convert the footage to H.264 later on your computer while editing without losing any quality. If you're interested in a deeper dive on this topic, check out our blog on the subject. You'll find a link in the description if you're on YouTube. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more AV tips, tricks, and insights. Thanks for watching.